Hello everyone, my name is Prodesilos, also known as Prod. In this video, I want to show you how we can use the built-in directory editor of Emacs, uh, DIRED, or as I like to call it, DIRED, to narrow down the buffer only to the items that we are interested in uh, for the task at hand. So I will show you in practice various techniques for achieving uh, this end result. Uh, let me toggle screen key. So uh, let's see, okay, now you can see uh, my input at the lower part of the screen. So let me, uh, the first thing we want to do is bring up the help menu for the major mode we are in. So diared mode. And this is a very useful documentation page because uh, it uh, provides all the functions that are bound to keys and how we can use these functions uh, within a diared mode. Uh, not to bother you with everything here, it's a, uh, I strongly encourage you to read this page, by the way. You will uh, surely find something that could improve your productivity. But what I want to show you here is a workflow involving this thing over here. So um, a search that uh, matches files and marks those files. And you just press the, per the percentage sign and the letter M. Let's remove this and start uh, doing the demo, percentage signed and M. And then let's uh, search for all files that end in EL. It has marked all those files. A quick uh, uh, scan can confirm that everything that does not end in EL has not been marked. If you continue reading from that uh, documentation page, you will also see that you can toggle the mark by pressing the letter T. So now everything that did not match the search has been marked. And if you continue reading over there, you will learn that you can temporarily remove from your view everything that is marked by pressing the letter K. This does not delete the files from the disk. Everything is just uh, where you left it. It just removes them uh, temporarily so you can focus only on the stuff you are interested in, on what is left behind. And these, if you notice, are all the files that matched EL uh, in our initial search. So I have been able to successfully narrow down the diet buffer only to the files that I was interested in. And these are, uh, for all intents and purposes, this is a standard uh, diet buffer, and these work the same way you would work uh, in an ordinary diet buffer. There is nothing different about it. It's just that you have been able to focus on the files you are interested in. Once you are done with the narrowing of this uh, buffer, you can regenerate the listing by pressing the letter G. So in effect, to go back to the default uh, view of the buffer, of the diared buffer. You can do the same thing by toggling uh, files manually, as I showed, uh, as I do here. But let's also use another package I have in my uh, config file, uh, which allows you to navigate subdirectories in a tree, in a tree style view. Uh, I will link to my .emacs in the description from where you can find all my configs. Uh, so you just press the tab key and you expand the directory at point. Okay, so let's mark this, let's mark this as well, and let's mark uh, this as well. Toggle the mark, remove from our view, and you see everything that I marked is uh, exactly here. Let's check this one here because it was inside the subdirectory. It works as intended, it works, it works. This is fantastic, I, was, I am able to narrow down the list even within subdirectories by using a subtree. And uh, let's uh, refresh again, regenerate. Okay, we are back to the beginning. In a similar fashion, uh, you can insert the contents of a directory below uh, the current directory. So no, not the contents of a directory, the contents of a subdirectory, if we want to be specific. So if you just press the letter I, let's uh, come back. We can see that I pressed the letter I over the ELPA directory and it produced a listing of that directory below the present listing. That's very good. What you can also do when you are inserting a directory, you can press Control U, which is the key binding for the universal argument, and then the letter I. And this 
uh, brings up a prompt that allows you to modify the flags that you pass to the ls command. Recall that dired is just an interactive, a prettier way of uh, uh, checking the items, the output of ls. ls is of course the standard uh, Unix uh, tool that you find uh, on all uh, GNU slash Linux uh, distributions and uh, every Unix uh, or Unix-like uh, operating system. So not to bother you too much with uh, what you are seeing here. If you read man ls, you can find more about this. I just want to recursively list the contents of this uh, directory by passing the flag capital R. So if I do that and uh, move a bit further below, I see, for example, this package, it's uh, over there. Let's see, it's over here and it has also been listed below. Uh, the recursion uh, is not for all subdirectories. You have to do it again for each uh, subdirectory. So it, but again, this is very useful because now I can use the same methods, the same techniques of searching and stuff. For example, I could uh, now uh, search for all the EL files within this listing. And this is a very long list. I don't want to do it because it might uh, slow down uh, my demo here and I don't want to do that. But the idea is fundamentally the same, right? You all can always narrow down uh, to the files that you are interested in. Very nice. Now let's open in another window uh, my uh, init file, my .org file. Uh, so this is a, a package that I installed a bit earlier, dyard-narrow. And uh, what this does is it basically is a, a convenient way of doing what I just uh, showed uh, using search methods directly. So uh, I have assigned a couple of uh, key bindings to the functions that this package uh, provides. The one is to search using a regular expression. The other is to search using fuzzy uh, technique, uh, fuzzy matching. Uh, so this is super and lowercase s, and the other is super and uppercase s, so super shift and s. But let's do this in practice so that you can see. Let's press super and s for a regular expression, a search matching a regular expression. So this is the search I ran earlier, if you remember, every file that ends in el. And again, I produced the same narrowed list that I did earlier using the standard uh, diary. And again, as I showed earlier, you can regenerate the listing pressing the letter G. Let's use now fuzzy search, super shift and S I have it assigned to. So let's search for every file that has E followed at some point by a hyphen and then I and then a dot. And I have the files that match uh, this sequence of characters. If you check also my video, my backlog, uh, in a, I have a video on IDO mode. And there I explain a bit how fuzzy matching works. Basically, it searches for all items that contain the characters you pass to it in the given sequence. They do not need to be next to each other. They just need to appear in this order. So there is a letter E followed by a hyphen. At some point, there is the letter I, and then there is the dot. So only these two files match this um, sequence of characters. But again, the end result is the same, a narrowed, dyered buffer. And you can now work on these files without being distracted uh, from all the rest. And again, G regenerates uh, the dyered uh, listing. Now you can combine what I just showed here with some of the things that I have shown in previous videos. For example, I have a video where you can use Dyard in order to run a macro that operates on the files of uh, this um, listing. But let me show you in practice uh, just very quickly. Uh, you can check that video, I have more on it. Let's start recording a macro. Control X and the left parenthesis. So what this does, opens the file in another uh, buffer now I will just do some very basic edits, but the idea is uh, that you can run any kind of uh, edit here. So some edits, then saves, comes over here, moves one step down and closes the macro. So if I run this again, let's see. Let's open it. So you see this, is, this contains the edits and let's remove this. This contains the edits as well. So you can imagine now that you narrow down the list, 
and run a macro on the narrowed list right away, uh, which is very convenient indeed. And you can combine it with the tree style navigation, with inserting uh, directories and th things like that. The idea basically here is that you can produce a diet buffer of files that are not necessarily next to each other or within the same uh, file system path. So that's all for now, folks. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. I understand this is a niche topic. This is a niche piece of uh, functionality, but once you get used to it, you can really be productive given the, cert the specific uh, context. So as I said, I will link to my um, .emacs in the description from where you can find all my configurations for uh, the built-in Emacs uh, file manager, the directory editor, Dyerd. Thank you very much for your attention, folks. Goodbye for now.